Pinot Black, folks. How's everybody doing? And I hope everybody's drinking a merry, merry, merry. Because I are. Matter of fact, i got to get me another Iser out of the fridge. Any Hoosers, here we go. We've got her down at, more than likely, no one has no one has professed in that it's not Rigel Canteris B. And pretty much it's got to more than likely be it. Okay, there's a couple shots by the sun here. And you'll see a, a ton of action going on. So this is just for openers here for some color. Uh, and there you go. Go watch the 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 navy pitchers folks soho okay go look at the, the navy go to the navy ones uh air force or go it's sechi go to sechi okay so anyway uh this is it going setting okay basically this is going to the south this shot shoots south down there and so here it is from the this is the north view now so that was showing it going away on the south view camera. This is it coming in on the north view camera. And as you see, it has the same star actions that we just seen that from the sun shots, that the sun has stuff in front of it. And I'll take you to M22 in a second again if you missed yesterday's video on the idea of what M22 is. This is more than likely just like M22 in front of Rigel Canteris B. And I'll take you to fire two, and you'll be able to see that. And I blew up here so you could see that the idea that it's not what everybody would keep on saying that, oh, it's just the camera does that. It's a sun. It's a baby sun. More than one, possibly two here. And maybe this is the dying one in front of it. Maybe something like Mass 22, but it is still giving a fart off, isn't it? Or basically it's got a really bright one, whatever it is. You can see a terahydrin, tetrahydrin, terahydrin, tetrahydrin, terahydrin, tetrahydrin. And then maybe is that a moon flopping around that baby uh, planet and we got M22 I'll take you to the data on that and I blew up above this shot at a thousand so you could see what kind of reflection or what other object is up there's like either another planet up higher up above it okay that's blown up at a thousand that's uh, so if you go to watch the uh, Rothabara pictures these are pictures at Rothabara and we want to thank the Brits for this and I think they basically opened up because they got well shit the Germans are letting them they've seen all this stuff it's nothing new and I think they were blocking it out yesterday but it is also curious let me go back to Rafa Barra's uh, station here and they didn't give you the 17th 18th 19th and on to the 20th so what are they hiding that's what I'm starting to wonder okay so this was it setting okay basically and that's the north camera okay so you end up seeing it on fireball let's go to fire so over here at fireball there you have it, more than likely Rigel Canteris B, or another one of the suns, which is possibly smaller than Rigel Canteris B, in the supergiants, folks. The sun is in the supergiants, and we go towards the sun. It's our magnet, okay? And I have theory and film to show, and I might be able to show you the slides, because it's just faster to go ahead and show pictures. So there is it on its rise. So very much more than one as we have that and we have that, okay? Don't let anybody try to feel, fool you that there's street lights. They're not street lights, ladies and gentlemen, okay? This is actual what rises down there, okay? So... Remember, the sun is in its winter solstice. M22 is a global cluster. Okay, distance from Earth is that right now. You can look up all this stuff. There's a picture of it. All right. There are by sky objects right now. And that's Rigel Canteris B, as you see that they kind of try to hide that, okay? Why wouldn't they put that on a full line, okay? So if you go look up Rigel Canteris, you're like, well, and even if you look up Rigel Canteris B, it's going to say, well, it's so damn far away. Well, it's 77% the size of the sun. And there are suns also that it could be, besides Rigel Canteris B and the supergiants, that are four times to 74 times the size of the sun. It takes something like 338,000 Earth sizes to even make the size of the sun, okay? 338,000 plus, so make it like something like 339,000 uh, Earths to make the size of the sun, folks. And then you're talking 4 to 74 times the size of that. Now I'm going to show you the recent, we'll get you down and we'll show you the reach, the recent. Here's our recent, uh, and then remember the shift, the axis shift. If we we're going to do anything, we we're going to do a slow roll, folks. Okay, so the idea the sun is there, but
but the sun is also at its farthest away from us that it's going to be in the winter, that, okay? So it's going to be even closer this summer, okay, to Earth. And we are at an all-time closeness right now in the winter solstice of 2. And then there's M22 that we just showed you the data for. And then we've got Saturn, Mercury. And Mercury's more than likely on fire. I'll take that next real fast. You got Venus over there and Jupiter, Mars at the end. Jupiter is more than likely on the other side of the Earth right now. And all you got to do is match up, and that is pretty much <coughs> on fire right now. Either that or something next to Mercury caught fire. Okay, and that's why they call it Mercury because it is hotter than hell there all the time because it's so damn close to the Sun. Okay, there it is. There's Mercury's trajectory. Okay. So, and there's our SOHO, A or B, and whether they're lying, that should have been came in from, come from this camera shot. And if you look at the picture pretty good, you can even kind of tell when you really study them good enough that the idea that does look forward of the sun, okay? So that should be behind stereo B, like they're telling us. Just the idea, we do know that they always turn and flip this shot around because the Navy looks at it the right proper way up. And whatever, there's people that when you, I'm very good at reading the truth. I'm like a real good cop I'm like too good of a cop the idea that I will never be a cop because I'm too damn good okay and that makes you just know that pretty much that it is stereo B because so that took the shot and there's stereo B and remember they put a box around Mar uh, Mercury right now to make you think that it's not uh, make you think that it's a satellite because all the satellites are X's okay Mercury is supposed to be a circle and it's there and they put a box around it okay and there's stereo A ahead and B, and that's the one that took the shot. And you pretty much can tell that the idea of that or something, that it's got to be either that or they're going to end up saying, oh, there's a baby moon next to Mercury, and it got it. Mercury's probably been on fire before. <coughs> so there's the local Lasco 3, and I'll go to the one <coughs> got from Navy. There you go. And Super Giants, okay. And, yes, there could be some of the Milky Way galaxy here because it's melding. We're meeting together, okay, and that's the arm to block out stuff. But the idea that usually when the Navy puts this block on a little bit thicker, they're hiding a little bit of action. And what they're doing is kind of hiding this action here. Let me go to basically my picture there. The idea there, there's some circular activity and going in here onto the sun. And then I'm going to go ahead and go back to uh, now at Sky, whether they're playing head games or not, we do know we get these flares like this here, and I can hit this and go to the picture, and you can see what they're blacking out, whether they're playing head games with us or not, but then they might just be hiding what some new find that they have, or this is super giant material hitting the sun, and they can't, and they had to blotch it out, so you can't see it, okay? So we do know that this is material. You know, that's material there. I've got to be careful with my pointer because I think it does show up yellow ring, but I like it to be able to do that so you guys can see stuff. So the idea that that's black curdling and the sun puts off material, yes, more than likely it probably puts material off. The lava goes out into space more than likely, small little objects. Or objects. Okay, that's an object that's up there. That might be our x-ray spot because the idea that how big that darn thing is, wherever it is, what side it is. Now, it could be on this side. Maybe that's what they're blotching out on like that. That could be our big humongous object because the idea that you have to realize the earth is smaller than even possibly that blitch there the earth is probably like a real tiny little speck from over here the tiniest little speck you can possibly pick out of here is how big earth is folks okay the sun is humongous all right it would take 338,000 or something like that to make the size of the sun of the earth okay so 338,000 of little specks like this to make the sun okay and then there are just four to 74 times that size in the super giants okay and let me go to some pictures and I just do this on the run folks so there it is when it first popped up at that time and this was on the south camera folks and then it goes north okay this goes north so you can see that the camera does not blotch out this is the most brightness ladies and gentlemen right there kabam it comes in so this proves tons thousand percent like my other thousand percent is proven that the idea that the camera doesn't get a glitch the idea that the, there is something in front of it okay so this is more than likely Rigel Cantera speed see the time and so forth and then it uh, comes with the other shots that I already showed you okay they'll match up so match that time and the idea that it is not the Sun because the Sun will come up here in the east because this came up in the in it 
came up in the uh, the southwest because this is east and the sun will come up and come along here. And if you follow these pictures when you go to the times, you will see at like 5 o'clock, at 3 o'clock or so, the sun, like on the other pictures, that's what I was showing you, that it's to the north. This goes north, and at 3 o'clock or so, you see this fade out, and then 4, 1 to 501 is where it starts building up from the east, and the sun will come along, and it'll be along this here, and there, and up, okay? This is from the north. This goes north. This came up in the west. West to north, this came up, okay? Rigel Canteris B, more than likely, is what this is right here. And I've proven and shown my other videos of the eggshell can lights that they have up there that are fluorescent in the uh, aircraft tower. That the idea that you, because you can see that they're basically in here. And the only, th and matter of fact, this is not even, these, this is even part of this terahydrin of this. Because the eggshells that are up in there will not reflect down and, and reflect into the windows here, folks. They will not, okay? This is straight up it coming up at 101, okay? And then they don't show us what's that 18 hour, 100 hour, and on off. Okay. And yesterday they didn't give us, I believe it was the 16 or 1700 hour. They blotched it out here when, when you go to the photos. And yesterday they didn't have it like the 16, 17, or 15, something like that hour. It's my video yesterday. Okay. So I want to thank the British for all these shots down there. So keep in mind that M22 is in front of the sun. Okay. And then that's what we get that cluster down at uh, any of the cameras down in Antarctica. When you get that cluster at the, in the evening at 5 or 6 o'clock with the sun, and it turns into like a cluster like it looks like that uh, Rigel Canteris B is coming up. Well, it's not. It's this here giving a nice shadow. And as you can see, it's still a, a hot planet. I mean, it's still got, they don't give us a temperature in the data, but it's still hot. It might be smoldering, but... It's there, and it's in front of the sun, so that's the glob when you go out and videotape what you get in front of our sun, okay? And as you can see, the web, that webcam on that last shot, it does not show it when it first comes up. I, here's an image of M22, okay? So it's bright in front of the sun. So so here's a map for you for Rigel Canteris B, and this is the supergiants and the main sequence and the giants, okay? The giants are considered in here, main sequence and the supergiants, and then Rigel Canteris B is up high, and coming up in the south of the earth, okay, rising, and then in the evening time, North America in the dark, we get those fireball pictures that I showed you in the dark. Those, these here are, these shots here are in the evening, okay? This bleeds through the dark, okay? All these bleed through the dark, okay? It could be Rigel Canteris B or another one of the supergiant stars with Rigel Canteris B. The earth Sun is in the well, but it's in the supergiants, okay? So Earth, this is probably hella high in Earth sandwich between Rigel Canteris B and the Sun, okay? And then that's where we get that uh, and actually know because since Rigel Canteris B is rising down there, the idea that the Earth is way up high above, okay? So Rigel Canteris B is very bright or one of the other supergiants is what's causing that, okay? But I really do believe it's Rigel Canteris B because it's the one that's closest to us besides the sun. And the sun is about right here. And you can watch my last, my old videos to check that out. I have to look that link up and find that one. But here's some technical. It's in Century. Okay. And that's how the main sequence KV1, Spectral Class. And I believe we got mass 77%. Yeah. And then there's another one that's 57%. That's probably out in front of it. Uh... Yeah, 5,000 K. Look up the temperature on what, uh, 5,000 Kelvin, and then look up what the sun is. So we're running out of a lot of time because I try to show that the idea that the data bleeds the truth, and it is truth. So it could be wrong of being Rigel Canteris B, but it's one of the suns in the supergiant because the sun is in the supergiant. And I'm not sure. This should be, uh... But I did have, I, I got to get the links that would have the more up-to-date current uh, positions of the supergiants in the main sequence, ladies and gentlemen. But Rigel Canteris B is out here like where I just showed you on the last map. And the sun is somewhere in here. And then these other ones move around. And I have links that I could go back and find. And I'll try to put that into the next video of where it's moving around at. So these are, there's a hundred of them. So you get that to get the hundred and it's a long list. So, they're 4 to 74 times the size of the sun, okay? 
These are all. More videos soon.